Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 942. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we have a data set here and we need to find the latest shipment date and latest shipment rate for uh, any product enter entered here. We have ABC, XY, X, and ZZZ. Now, in, we're going to see two examples. One is if the date column is sorted then it's much easier than if it's not. In our next example, we'll see what happens if we had to sort it on this column. All right, so let's start up and just see if we can uh, look this up. There are duplicates over here, so we need to jump into not a straight lookup formula, but some sort of an array formula. So I'm going to highlight this entire range, hit the F4 key to lock that because we're going to copy the formula over and down. And I'm going to say, is anything in that range equal to this product entered right here? Now I'm going to hit the F4 key one, two, three times. Lock the column. So when we move this way, it's locked on F2. But when we copy it down, the F2 will turn to F3. Now that'll give us a bunch of trues and falses. True, 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 true. Because the date column is uh, sorted here, we can simply take the last ABC, right? And that'll give us the uh, date. And then from that, we can also get the rate. So I'm going to Control Z. Now, I want to convert those trues and falses to ones and divide by zero error. So I'm going to say 1 divided by, and then to force the equal sign to calculate before the division, we put it in parentheses. Now, when I hit F9, we get a bunch of divide by zeros and ones. Now, we know it's the last one we want. Well, you can use, if you have um, numbers and you're doing approximate match, you can just give the lookup function a big enough number so that it will always go to the last one. Notice we only have one, so I'm going to use lookup. Now, lookup, match, VLOOKUP all work the same way when you're doing approximate match. If you give the lookup value here some big number, now we're never going to have anything but ones, right? So I'm going to look up the number 2, comma, within that lookup vector. Now, the cool thing about lookup function is it can handle this array, and it won't be bothered by those divide by uh, zero error. So if we say 2, it'll automatically, in the lookup vector, go to the last one. That will tell the lookup function the position, and then we comma the vector to look up, this one right here. Now, I need to um, lock this when I copy it down. Whoops, I highlighted the wrong column, because we need date, and then uh, rate. So right now, when I copy this formula down, I want it locked. But when I move it over, I want the dancing ants to move. So I'm going to hit the F4 key one two times. Lock the row, but not the column. And that formula will work. Control Enter. No Control Shift Enter, even though we did this uh, array operation here. I'm going to copy it over. Now I'm going to point to Fill without formatting. because And then I'm going to copy it down. And there we have, because this column was sorted and we're always entering the last, the latest dates at the end, it worked perfectly. Now, what if this column wasn't sorted? Then we couldn't rely on the fact that the uh, last ABC would give us the latest date. I'm going to copy this formula, Control C, come over to this sheet. Now, here we've sorted this column, not this one. So it's not necessarily going to be uh, the last ABC or XY. You can see here, this is the last XYX, but that's not the latest date. That one is. So let's put this into edit mode and Control V. Well, we have everything we need. We just need to change this, right? Since this isn't sorted, we're going to have to find the biggest date associated with ABC, right? And then the biggest date here associated with XYX. So I, I'm thinking we're going to use the max function. But check this out. This little bit right here, that gives us the trues and falses. But I, I want from the trues and falses here to pick out only the dates. And then from those dates, pick out the biggest. So check this out. In this array, I'm going to times and go to this column here, and then F4. Now right now, what this will do just the bottom part, not the one divided by. This will give us the true, the false times the number will be false times any number is 0, true times any number is that number. So when I hit F9, I have 
got from this column just the dates associated with ABC. Now, those are serial numbers, right? Serial numbers, that's what a date is. So we need the biggest one of those, Control Z. So I'm going to use the max function. Open parentheses, all right? So I just am putting that little bit right there. I'm still working the max. Yeah, so there it is. I'm going to close this off here. So this little bit. F9. That's going to pick out the biggest date. Oh, but wait a second. We need a position, Control Z. So I'm going to ask the question in parentheses. Any this max value that the max function is spitting out, are you equal to anything in this column? F4. Right? And then close parentheses because we need to we're going to get a bunch of uh, I'm going to hit the F4 key here. I'm the F9 key to evaluate. Now we get false, 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 and a true because the only for ABC the big one happens to be the last one. When we get to X Y X, and we'll look at this in just a second, it'll be this one, the uh, third to the last. Control Z, and then the rest of it's one divided by that F9. And that gives us the one in the last position, and the two will find it. Control Enter, copy it. I'm going to go down this time and then over, and now use fill without formatting. All right, so for x, y, x, it looked like it worked. And we can even come and look. I'm going to highlight this entire little bit right here and hit F9. And sure enough, true, it got that the biggest x, y, x date, even though it wasn't the last one. Escape. All right, we'll see you next trick.